Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm out here in the driveway with my buddy CJ. We're out here working on my Canon MX3 and we got some new lighting pods. These are made by SD Lighting. They are pretty badass as far as looks. They look amazing. And as far as lighting output, they're supposed to be really, really good. So if you're unaware of SD Lighting, this is their new model RG3L. It comes with two flood LEDs, two daytime running LEDs or driving lights, I mean. And then right in the middle, they have what they call a laser. The sophisticated heat beam, which we called a laser. And we're gonna show you a little bit later how this has like a real bright hotspot for long distance uh, driving. Now let's compare them to the Baja Design Squadrons that my buddy has. So these are some Baja Squadrons on my buddy's 2021. The finish on these is more of a matte finish, uh, but it's smooth versus the ones on the SD lighting are a textured finish, kind of like the can am cage. So very similar in size, shape, um, the construction is pretty much very similar. Uh, this is a laser on this one, that one doesn't have it. But um, these are going to be more comparable to the Pros versus this is the Sport version and uh, it's a lot more affordable than these. So we're going to compare these on a separate video to the Pros because my buddy has them on his truck. And then uh, we'll give you guys a good idea on which one's brighter and better. So as far as the actual light itself and how it hooks up, um, I'm going to say that they're pretty much a wash. This one does have a brush finish, which some of you guys might like. I don't really care. I actually like this ring on the front of the light. It actually gives a cool look. And uh, one thing to note is the connectors. I think SD Line is using a better high quality connector versus the ones on the Sport. Uh, we actually, you know, they came off, the, the wires came off the connector on both lights. We actually had to use butt connectors, which I don't like. So SD Line is fairly new, but they're based out of Arizona. Steve over there is a great guy. We're gonna go ahead and try these on. I'm excited to see what they look like uh, on, on the car. And then, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the design on this. It looks really cool um, compared to the Baja design that like I just showed you. I actually like these more. I actually like the uh, kind of square-ish edges. And I like this ring right in the middle. It kind of sets off the light, makes it, a, makes it have a different look that normally you don't see. So we're gonna go ahead and install this on the other side. So before we start with the light, I wanna show you that we did install some Axia A-pillar brackets. So these put the uh, light at the right correct angle. You know, it's a little slanted, but it works perfectly, as you can see on the other light, uh, to mount your light pods here. Whatever light pods you go with, they give you plenty of room for a nut and uh, whatever you're gonna use. Let's go ahead and install the hardware on this pod. So the curved edge goes towards the rear. And you're pretty much gonna get your Allens that come in the package. It's an Allen, a uh, lock washer, and then a regular washer. Just remember to put your big bolt through the bracket before you start installing on the light because then you won't be able to get it in. So then we'll go ahead and install this on the Axia bracket at the A-pillar. So SD Lion doesn't provide you with a harness, but I found the harness that uses the same connectors so you can pretty much plug and play the pods to the harness. And I'll show you guys that in just a second. And I'm also gonna leave a link to not just the light pods, but that harness as well. So put a washer, a lock washer, then the nut. I do wanna say that the bolt is actually captured by the bracket. So you don't have to worry about grabbing two wrenches. You can just use one wrench to tighten this down. So it has these welded portions on both sides of the bolt that hold it from moving. So it's pretty cool. I like it right there. Make looks sure good. they're all lined up. Looks pretty straight. Looks good, don't it? It does, it does look good. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, those rings in the middle, the black rings, I think help give it like a face almost. Look at that extra touch. Pretty cool. All right, guys, we came inside because it was windy. This is the harness that I'm recommending. It's in the description, there's a link for it. And the reason I'm recommending it is because the connectors on the harness actually match the connectors on the light pods. It's gonna work perfect for you guys. And then at the very other end, it's just pretty much a relay. It did come with a switch, but I cut off all those wires except for the control circuit. So this is gonna be the control circuit and that's gonna turn on our uh, lights. All right, so for the control circuit, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a video I made on how to wire switches and leave a control circuit from the switch that can connect to this and control this harness to turn on and off your lights. It's 
It's really, really simple. It's not that hard. And you pretty much have a factory look and everything's gonna work out perfect for you guys. You guys can do this at your, at your house on your own. The only other thing about this harness that I had to change is the, uh, the ring terminals at the very ends, they were a little big. And for the junction block, the fuse block on this car, that wasn't gonna work out. So I had to, you know, cut those off and put some new ones. And I'm gonna leave a link in the description to a um, accessory kit that has a bunch of different connectors, spades, rings, and butt connectors. All right, guys, so running a harness isn't too difficult. As you can see, we have plenty of length. What you're gonna have to do is take off some of these torques to loosen up the panels to be able to sneak the wiring in. We're gonna do that right now. All right, guys, so you're gonna have to remove some of the hardware to get the panels to move out of the way so you can run the harness. So like, for example, this one, we took out the screws here and here, and we're gonna sneak this panel, excuse me, excuse me, we're gonna sneak the harness down the panel just like that. And I'm gonna connect everything. So the harness is gonna run in there and also through here. It's gonna be pretty, pretty easy install. It's not that hard. We'll sneak the wires down the center console and then the other connector, we're gonna run it over to that lamp. So pretty simple. We'll uh, tighten everything up, put the bolts back on, make sure the panels are nice and snug, and then we'll move on to connecting it. And we should be able to uh, run this pretty soon. All right, guys, once you run your harness, what you're gonna be left with is the relay. Obviously, hook up the power and ground to the uh, junction block there. And then this control circuit is gonna go to this control circuit here that I had pre-wired for one of my switches. Like I said, check out that video. Uh, these control circuits, Pretty simple, it's got, power, it's got power already and it can turn on the lights as you can see here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and solder these wires together, put the harness in there, tuck it away, zip tie it. We'll show you guys how bright these are and how they look. And yeah, let's check them out. All right, my boy CJ is uh, gonna turn on the pods and there they are. We're not that dark right now, but we're gonna do it in the garage to give you guys a good idea. Now, obviously this is not real world testing. We will do that in the future. And we're gonna do a comparison with the Baja Designs Pros, the Squadron Pros. So he's gonna pull them in the car and we're gonna at least get a good look at what they look like in the garage. I'm gonna show you the laser and how much of a hot spot it is on your hand. Begin laser ignition! All right, so these laser pods are really bright, but I think the main draw to these are the laser. And if you look at my hand, you can see it looks pretty bright on my hand uh, as I move it up. You'll see the freaking spot on my hand. It's like a laser, seriously. It's hard to tell on camera. But I mean, it's bright. It's a really bright. And on camera, it's not showing up, but it's a really, really hot spot right in the middle of my palm. All right, we're gonna close the garage so it gets really, really dark in here. Like I said, we're gonna do a real world performance test on these very soon with the sports and the pros. Uh, just subscribe to the channel, you'll see the videos out there. I'm gonna turn off the garage light too. Let's see, it should be pitch black in here. There we go. So, uh, very dark. Go ahead and turn them on. You can see it's lit up by toolbox. And that's the box lit up. Now, lights flood very well, but I think the biggest thing, it's hard to see on this side because of the tools. But on this side, you can really see it. The hot spot right in on the wall. It's really bright. So these are going to be very good for long distance visibility. I think it's going to be really, really bright for that situation, which is good because the rough country light bar they have on top is great for flood, but for long distance, it isn't the greatest. Uh, no, I know Casey highlights those pro sixes that they have. They're known for the long distance visibility, but I think these lasers might change the game. And goddamn, there's another light bar. So turn this off. Turn on the light bar. That's the light bar. I have the Rock Country light bar is really bright, but the uh, it's it's kind of a flood. It doesn't really go that far. And those are the pods. The uh, those hot spots I think are going to help at uh, long distance. So what I want to do in the future is do a test where I put the drone in the air, and then from up above we'll see the light pattern on how it looks in the desert. So that's going to be really really cool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know I'm enjoying my new pods, and if you want to get a set. Like I said, link in the description. They're pretty damn cool, and you guys should check them out. See you guys next time. Have sharks with freaking laser beams attached to their heads. If you want to know how to wire this up with a factory looking switch, like the ones I have here, make sure to watch that other video. because It'll show you step by step on how to power these switches so they light up just like your factory switches do.